Welcome everyone to Houston News. Today is April the 9th, 2018. And today we are giving you all our daily cryptocurrency market news analysis where we are giving you the news according to the charts. No one else in this space is able to give you all the news according to what we see on price charts. And when I tell you what we see on price charts, I'm talking about with no indicators. We don't use no stock the stochastics no rsis no macd's none of that fibonacci retracements anything on our charts to make sure we all can comprehend what exactly is going to go or what is going to occur in the cryptocurrency space and we feel that we have the answer to so many of your trading problems so many of your ailments that is troubling you in the cryptocurrency space and it's language analysis. And we are able to teach and to show you all how to become more confident in the cryptocurrency space and as well maintain profitability and as well increase your profits because you can understand what is exactly going on in the cryptocurrency space. If you want more information about how to become an expert in reading price charts, then you have to come and join us on our Patreon page. Look just for 10 cents a day three dollars a month you guys will have access to the top 10 cryptocurrencies paired against bitcoin and as well you will become a part of our private facebook group to where we are giving tips knowledge trading successes and as well any other pertinent information that we feel is very important to your understanding of what is going on in the cryptocurrency space all for just 10 cents a day so please if you guys want to learn more you have to come and follow us on our patreon page at Houston news and you will not regret it not going to waste any of your time let's go ahead and talk about what occurred in the market today so early out in trading today the market shot higher and everyone was getting you know euphoric excited the market is finally moving higher we've been in a slump for the last two weeks three weeks the market continues to go down and then towards midday we had a very strong push to go down bar which is a precursor of weakness and ever since then we have been trending lower that is just a, another nail in the coffin to remind you that the market is not ready for higher prices. Bitcoin is down 4.53%, Ethereum as well is down 1.39, looking at Ripple down 2.22, and Litecoin is down 2.71. The market cap is still around $256.2 billion, which is pretty good, but sadly to say, we definitely might be making lower lows. We're looking at Bifinex, right? And we're looking at Bitcoin paired against the USD. They're down 4.13%. Last trade was $6,678. Well, $682 even. Daily price bar for Bitcoin. You guys can see how the market started out higher in trading. And you can see where we are currently. We're right back down towards $6,500 and I told you in our video about two to three days ago the longer that we hover around $6,500 the greater it is we will be moving lower a lot of volume is coming in today and as well we have another because of the weakness bar being reflected on a daily price chart y'all three hour bars for Bitcoin and you can see where we had this massive, very wide push to go down bar, which is a precursor of weakness. And we're still getting weakness in the market. Resistance is going to be around 67.20 or around 67.60 throughout tomorrow's trading. Looking at the one hour bar, you guys can see that we were consolidating for a little bit and then we dropped lower and we're still in weakness for Bitcoin at this time. That support came in around 6640. 
But needless to say, we're still looking for this particular cryptocurrency to consolidate to even move lower and not anticipating higher prices for Bitcoin. Throughout trading tomorrow, it can move higher back up to around 67.20 or maybe even a little lower than that. Probably around the lows of these particular bars here, which is around $6,700. Okay. But needless to say, Bitcoin is not a buy at the moment. Definitely long term, it is not a buy as well. So we're expecting Bitcoin to come across resistance around $6,700. Okay. And from there, if we do not get any because of strength bars. It will receive more stockpile or weakness bars and move back to the downside. Okay. And there's no volume in these. Let me show you these three bars currently coming in. There is no interest in higher prices because the volume is extremely light. So, yes, we will be moving higher, probably around six to seven hundred dollars. But then definitely the market will fall and drop from there. It might even go to six to seven twenty five. I can see that if we get more volume. But right now we definitely do not have the market participants backing to move to move higher in price. And support has to hold right here towards the lows of these particular bars uh, 6500 I'll just take a nice even number $6,500 the market needs to hold if it breaks $6,500 with precursors of weakness then you know we will be making new lower lows and given the amount of volume and the way that this push to go down bar is being reflected we're definitely looking for Bitcoin to continue to move to the downside and six thousand dollars is going to be the next area for Bitcoin. Taking a look at Ethereum right now. Ethereum is down 0.72 percent. Last trade was three hundred and ninety four dollars and 14 cents. And Ethereum was having a fantastic day in trading today. Market came all the way up to. Four hundred and thirty dollars. And now you can see where it's trading now. Three hundred and ninety three excessive volume. This is a precursor of weakness bar in the market today. So we're right back in consolidation for Ethereum as well. So we did not break out of our consolidation range. Taking a look at the three hour bars. Weakness is still being reflected on the three hour bars as well. So we're still not expecting Ethereum to move higher. 396 though can be resistance we can see the market coming up to there but nevertheless the market is giving us more precursors of weakness than strength on the three hour bars right now let's take a look at the one hour bar so now we're seeing the one hour bar a lot of volume is coming in the market for ethereum as the market is trending lower and the market is trying to sustain itself above $388. It definitely has to stay above $392. If that can occur, then we will consolidate. That is going to be support. Resistance is going to be around $396 or even $400 throughout the short term. Okay. But nevertheless, we are noticing weakness still coming in the market for Ethereum as well. Our analysis is for them to move lower. So next, we are going to take a look at Litecoin. Litecoin is down 2.84%. Last trade was $113.95. Daily price bar for Litecoin looks just like Ethereum's price bar weakness all the way around. Market is definitely look like it's going to try $110 once again. And given the fact that we have seen this type of bar earlier, within this consolidation you guys can see that the market continue to move lower and we're still expecting that to happen in litecoin as well on the daily price bar is a definite precursor to weakness got a couple more hours left so this bar can definitely change but if it looks the way that it looks now at the completion of it then we're still looking for litecoin to move lower quick look at the three hour bar 
taking a look at the three hour bar you guys can see that consolidation was had for six hours and then we dropped once again expect that to occur if we're going to start consolidation 112 needs to hold that support expect the market to at least come down to around that price in the short term resistance is right up there around 116 for litecoin but nevertheless we are noticing that the market is still giving us weakness at the current time our analysis for litecoin as well is for them to continue to move to the downside throughout trading tomorrow okay now the last one for today is going to be ripple So Ripple is down 2.53% last trade was around 48 cents daily price bar. All cryptocurrencies, the ones that we cover here on this channel, is giving us the same type of bar. A lot of volume is coming in the market. We had two fantastic days, but the volume dropped off as we were moving higher. And that's why we're getting the result of today. The market moving lower, expecting the market to come back down to support again around 45 cents on the daily price bar for Ripple. So now we're looking at the three hour bars for Ripple. The market tried to move higher off of 47 and a half cents, ran across some resistance around 48 and a half, and we're still looking at weakness in the market, especially on this current three hour bar. If it closes towards a higher bar, even on light volume, we need to see a lot more volume to let us know that the, the interest in higher prices is there. Right now, we're not getting that in the market. So definitely we're looking for Ripple to continue to move to the downside. Consolidation in the short term, 48 and a half cents, maybe break his head a little higher than that. But then support needs to hold around 47. It breaks 47 cents, then it will test the lows on the daily price chart and maybe even break it. So you have to be watchful and careful of that. That's all we have for today. Today is April the 9th, 2018 quick recap of what we're noticing in the market long term we're expecting these cryptocurrencies to come back to that major low that we saw on february the 6th it's going to try that again and we might even break it today was like another culmination of how weak the cryptocurrency space really is so long term we're definitely not looking at these cryptocurrencies having any breakout movement yet especially in the next couple of trading days things can definitely turn around but given what occurred today in the market, definitely lets us know from a news perspective that the market is going to continue to move to the downside. OK, now the first major critical area that you need to pay attention to is that support area that we've been consolidating on for the last, say, the last week or so. All the way from the 30th of March all the way to today's day, we were simply consolidating and it goes for all of these cryptocurrencies. We're going to come right back to those support areas on the daily price chart. Pay attention because if we get more weakness on that support line, we will break it. And you heard that here on Houston News. That's all we have for today. If you guys are more interested in learning the language analysis of the financial markets without using any indicators and charts or expensive software, then you need to come join us on our Patreon page. We look forward to seeing you all there. That's all I have for today. Make sure you maintain your probability and I will talk to you all later.